Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning and welcome. It's Nurse Richard, the Wax Wizard. Thanks for joining me. Uh, three goodies in this one today. Um, the first one is a thick dead skin peel, which I know a lot of you like. And the second two from the same patient is uh, just a, some big old chunky plugs that I managed to get a ruler shot for, uh, for a change for me. <laughs> um, so let me tell you about this first one because this, uh, it was a lady, a young lady who came to see me and she's having terrible trouble with itching it was um, really driving around the bend. It was um, dr absolutely driving a crackers. What I'm saying is, can you get for driving a crackers? It was driving a that, that crackers, driving around the bend, around the twist, up the wall, you name it. Um, it was doing reading. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of a joke. What do you, um, um, father goes into a doctor, said, um, I think I've got a steering wheel in, in my underpants. What do you mean you've got a steering wheel in your underpants? He said, well, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> there you go, dad joke of the day. Um, uh, making me itch, you know, talking about itching, which leads me on to, and the, the reason why this happens, uh, I think she has uh, psoriasis um, and eczema, and you can get overproduction of skin quite commonly uh, with those conditions. Makes this thing really thick and quite difficult to peel away. I think we had to go to some oil in a bit, which, which did help. Because I've got the fine end tube, it's always best for peeling, um, but it's extremely thick, uh, so it makes it more difficult. It would have come out quite easy, probably with a full size tube, but it probably would have been squeaking and been very uncomfortable and unpleasant for the patient, which obviously we don't want. Um, but the fine end tube, whilst it doesn't do all that squeaking, it's just a bit less powerful, so it's a bit trickier um, to peel this off when it's as thick as it is, so that's why I've put the oil in like I have now. Um, but as you can see, gone all blurry, got the old, the old dream sequence again. Um, anyway, itching, uh, the, the medical term for itching, if none of you know if you're interested, is pruritus. Uh, something, if there's something pruritic, it's itchy. Um, now, you can see the difference the olive oil makes it, when I lift it up, it kind of seeps down underneath it and makes it a bit easier to peel away. Um, but itching, can drive a lot of people nuts, it really can. Um, because you can often get this thing, you might well have heard of it, I'll try and explain it to you in, in a bit of detail, not too much. Um, you can get the itch scratch cycle. Um, now what's that? You might already, some of you might know what that is, if not. Um, the, the, the long and short of it is, you get an itch, you scratch it, you buy, you, and then you kind of actually make it, make it worse, it becomes, it becomes itchier because you've scratched it and you're thinking, why is that? It should relieve it, shouldn't it? Um, doesn't always happen. You get this itch scratch cycle, where what can happen is um, when you when you itch, when you scratch, um, it causes some minor, just some minor trauma, very minor pain, which releases uh, serotonin. Um, serotonin, the body's feel good chemical, makes you feel good, uh, and you get plenty of serotonin in. And but what serotonin also does it, I think it reacts with some, some neurons um, and it can actually send itch signals from the brain again. So then it goes constantly round in a cycle because you've caused that minor damage. Um, it's becoming more itchy because of you scratching it all the time. <laughs> um, how do you get out of that? Now, it's important to find out what the cause of the itching is to start with. You know, the cause of hers was certainly this thick dead skin in the ear. Um, anywhere else on the skin, usually um, steroids, steroid creams are very effective at relieving itches. Again, depends what the cause is, but those, are, those can be very effective. Uh, but for this, it's just obviously peeling it away. Because she did ask me how she can manage this going forward, you know. Um, now, sometimes regular olive oil just might moisturise it, might make it less less dry and itchy. Or sometimes some acetic acid spray can help to reacidify the ear and help with that itching. Look at that, nice and clear. Um, and hopefully she notices a big a big difference. But she did ask me what you can do to relieve the itching, as a lot of people do. Like I said, it depends on the cause. If it's a minor irritation, sometimes acetic acid can uh, acetic acid spray can help. Um, other things that can help, give some quick tips on itching. You can grab one of these things if you want, shove that right in there, get it deep in there and give it a right good scratch with that. 
or you can get some of these get the sharpest one you can find and maybe dig that right in there get the right good scratch i am joking of course <laughs> Um, sometimes just not putting, obviously you, you should know by now not to put anything inside your ears, but sometimes scratching, just if you put your finger on that there and just give it a really good rub around there. Sometimes that can help or just behind it like that, give it a good rub. Um, and again, if you need to put some spray in, um, use some spray, either acetic acid spray or some olive oil spray like this is, just obviously tilt, lift your head up, a couple of squirts, give it a bit of rub. Uh, allow it to sit in there and then tip your head the opposite way to allow it to drain out. It can sometimes help. While I've been waffling on, you've missed this monster <laughs> removal, haven't you? I thought that was it when that first one came away for this chap. Um, but it wasn't, again, an incredibly dark, thick chunk down at the bottom of this guy's ear, which has just turned itself sideways and popped out. Another wax baby safely delivered. <laughs> Now, if you're a fan of seeing every little speck in ears removed, I suggest you stop now and do not watch the second one. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Big old chunk, as you can see. Um, but there was a few specks left, two or three specks, quite deep in the ear. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, obviously, I showed the patients on the screen uh, what they look like. And, and after I'd removed it and we got to the end, which you'll see very shortly, I see a couple of specks there. And I explained to him, said, now I can go and get those if you want, uh, but that comes with some risks and it's probably not going to make, well, definitely not going to make any difference at all um, to your hearing. And obviously there's a, a sharp metal object in your ear. Um, and I said, if you want my opinion, I said, it's not really worth it. I said, just put a couple of squirts of oil in, it'll probably loosen it and then it'll naturally migrate out. And um, he said, do you know what? I just leave them there then, that's absolutely fine. Uh, so if, 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 uh, it's an informed decision. So I explained to them what, to what the risks of it were, you know, puncture the eardrum, graze the ear canal, um, and then let the patient make that decision then. But I probably wouldn't have done it anyway, even if he said, yep, get it out. I was trying to lead him in that direction. So like I said, it's, it's gonna bug a few people <laughs> on these videos, but I don't care, this is a medical procedure. This is not, uh, made for entertainment. I know you find them entertaining, um, that, as do I. Um, but the whole purpose of it is to relieve the symptom. Now the symptom was this chap couldn't hear very well. After I removed this one here, he could hear perfectly again. And yes, there was a couple of spots left. Are they affecting his hearing? Are they giving him any symptoms? Not one bit. Um, so we both agreed that um, absolutely no reason to go down there with a sharp tool in a very sensitive part of the ear canal near the eardrum to get those things out just because it might, um, but just because it looks good on a video. That's not why we do this, it really isn't. So you can already see the little speck there. If they were in like a spot that I thought was, uh, you get potential problems in, you know, if, if I thought it was on the eardrum and possibly it could be creeping into a, a pocket, then yes, obviously I would, but uh, none of them were. So as you can see, we can see the whole eardrum there and those specks are microscopic. They're really tiny. Oh, camera shot again, uh, ruler shot for once. <laughs> Yay me, I actually remembered with this one because they were fairly substantial chunks, very dark too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, for those of you with a bit of OCD who like every spot being removed, I hope you can sleep well at night anyway. <laughs> um, but for now, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Ta-da.